So with this card right here, you can get a $10,000 credit line without a credit check. Too good to be true, right? Well, sorta. What's up winners, my name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start out by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Tomo is a company that I heard about for some time now, and recently I went ahead and applied for this card. So first off, let's go over exactly what is the Tomo credit card. Even though they label this card as a credit card, it's kind of more like a charge card. Depending on how much your credit line is available to you, that'll be how much money that you'll be able to spend. With this card, there's no credit history required. They also give you 1% cash back, expedited auto pay, no APR, no annual fees, and there's no security deposit. So if you are a person who has no credit to low credit, this is probably the perfect solution for you. So let's go a little bit further on the Tomo card. Tomo, they say that you're worth more than a number referring to your credit card. So how do they determine how much of a credit line to give you is by linking to your bank accounts. They use a third party provider called Plaid, which provides safety and encryption to all of your data. So Tomo is not the actual company that's storing your banking information. They just have access to it. But if you are an individual who does not have a checks account or a bank account, it's gonna be rather difficult to get approved for this card. Once you give them access to your banking information, this is when they review your transaction history. This can be deposits, withdrawals, depending on what they come up with, this will be your available credit line. So now let's talk more about the expedited auto pay feature. There's really nothing too special about this. The main reason why they have this in place is that it lowers the risk. This is definitely not a perk for you, but kind of more for them. But the thing is that the longer individuals have balances in place, the more difficult it will be for them to pay it off. So I kind of get what they're trying to do here. Just because you're paying off your balances earlier and more frequent, this does not mean that you get reported to the credit bureaus more often. Information still gets reported to the credit bureaus on a monthly basis. Since they rely on your banking information during the underwriting process, this is how they determine your credit limit. A little bit later in this video, I'll show you exactly how much I got approved for so you guys can have your own expectations. When they say they have no fees or APR, this is mainly due to the fact that they're not lending you any money because they have direct access to your bank account. I really could not find out whether or not they have foreign transaction fees, but since they stated they have no fees, I would really hope so. And lastly, what I want to talk about is the cash back. Getting 1% cash back is nothing to be too thrilled about, but it's way better than nothing. So now let's move on to the credit scores and how this card can actually build your credit. The great thing about this card is that there's no soft inquiry or even a hard inquiry on your credit whenever you apply for this card and once it gets approved. And Tomo, they report to all three of the credit bureaus. So honestly, it really doesn't get any better than that. With traditional credit cards from major banks and credit unions, when they do a hard inquiry, your credit score will drop a few points, but it'll take a few months to a year for it to trickle back up. By getting the Tomo card, you avoid this drop. One thing you must be aware of is that every time you apply for a new credit line, this will make your overall credit age much younger. This was something that I was thinking about for a while now, since my credit score did drop a few points because my old account recently got closed. But the truth of the reality is, if your credit score is higher than 740, you would qualify for tier one credit and you will pass the credit score test. Since it is reported that this card does not have any fees, so it's worth keeping for the long run to build that primary credit line. In addition, since this card has an expedited auto pay, it can really help out with your credit score. Having lower credit balances will show that your credit utilization is much lower, so in turn, this does benefit your credit. So now let's move on to the application process. Their pre-approval process is rather easy and it really didn't ask that many questions. I applied for the pre-approval a few times with different emails and I got pre-approved every single time. The first thing that I have to make note of is that you do not need to have a social security number to apply for this card. If you are an individual who has an ITIN and positive banking information, you can still get approved for this card. So to get started, all you would have to do is plug in your email and get pre-approved. So I did this with two separate emails and I got pre-approved for the exact same amount. I'm not really sure is it due to the numbers that I plugged in, but I got pre-approved for $5,000. One time I did it with my own social security number and another time I did it with an ITIN. So let me show you what I did. So I just plugged in that my total monthly income was $6,000 and my total combined bank account balances was $15,000. So once I submitted my application, I got pre-approved for $5,000. But during my actual application, my total monthly income and bank account balances is much higher than this, but I still got pre-approved for $5,000. I was really hoping to get pre-approved for the maximum of $10,000 since one of my recent credit cards was a Chase Freedom Flex and I was able to get a credit line of $19,000. But I get it, they're trying to play it safe since they're not doing a credit check. One thing to make note of is to take the pre-approval with a grain of salt because it seems like a lot of people are getting pre-approved for $5,000. 
Where the actual numbers come into play is when they send you an email to continue your application. So from the time I got pre-approved, it took them nine days to actually send me an email with the real application. So once you click on that link, you would just fill in your own personal information, like your address, your name, and all the things like that. Then you have to link your checkings and your savings accounts. And this is where you would actually see your credit limit. So once I start plugging all my personal accounts and my business accounts, my estimated credit was around $250 to $500. At first, I was like, wait, there has to be something wrong here. But once you get an estimated credit limit, that's not gonna be the final say on the actual limit. Once the application is complete, they'll give you the actual numbers. So mine came out to be about $1,000. Beggars can't be choosers, but they didn't require any sort of credit check, so I really can't complain. Once you get approved for everything, you would then get an account and you get access to your dashboard. The client's dashboard is actually pretty clean and modern. It's much easier to navigate through everything. You get access to your payments, your activity, rewards, statements. As you guys can see, it is laid out fairly nicely. Unlike the larger banks like Bank of America or Chase, their dashboards are still pretty stiff and traditional. So with the Tomo dashboard, it's pretty laid back. One thing to keep in mind is that with every new signup, they start off with a seven day auto pay for at least three months. Meaning that for three months, you're gonna be making weekly payments on your balances if there are any. Tomo says that by doing this, this will show them that you are a responsible borrower. And once the three months is up, your auto payments can be extended. So me being used to traditional credit cards, I can understand of what they're trying to do here. Their target audience are individuals who are trying to build their credit or looking to repair their credit. So now let's talk a little bit more about the credit limit. They say that you will be eligible for a credit limit increase if you make online payments for at least a month. So in one month, I will be requesting, since they never ran your credit in the first place, I'm pretty sure that you won't have an inquiry just for requesting. Another factor that can increase your credit limit is by linking more bank accounts. When I first applied, I only linked about one or two accounts. I imagine if I linked all my bank accounts, I would probably get a higher credit limit, so I'll probably link more and see how it turns out next month. When it's all said and done, Tomo is a pretty great place to start if you have no credit, looking to build or repair your credit, and it is fairly easy to get approved for. Plus, they don't do a credit check. If you guys are interested, I do have a referral link down in the description below. I'll see you guys in my next videos.